I just got back from work and um, I got out the car. And then I heard an aircraft approaching where I live, about four minutes flying time from the Dubai International Airport. And the aircraft came overhead at about between 100 and 150 feet. He was in a slight right-hand bank. Um, what appeared to me, uh, it was an aircraft type, probably 747. It was one of the older generation classic, what we call the classics. Um, so not, not, not the newer generation aircraft. Um, it appeared to me that the pilot did have sort of longitudinal control of the aircraft because he was steering the aircraft in a, in a shallow right-hand bank. But it appeared to me that the aircraft was losing heart, even though I could hear that some of the engines were, were working pretty hard. They, you know, he was, they were, they were thrust being delivered on some of the engines, but he was losing height. Um, no fire, nothing emanating from the aircraft uh, as, far as, as far as that's concerned. It's just, uh, he just steadily lost heart. And, of course, this part of uh, this side of the airport of Dubai, as you, as you can quite well imagine, there's a lot of construction and there are a lot of buildings. So I would say that the crash site is uh, probably about four miles uh, from, from where I live. So, as you say, four miles from about where you live, you make the point that there's a lot of construction going on. But give me some context because I'm unclear as to uh, the scale of residential homes in that area, if any. Well, we're, we're, yes, of course, it's, it's, uh, with all the construction going on in Dubai, it's expanding outward, where I've, it's not uh, close to about 20 kilometers as a crow flies towards the city center. But as you go out, of course, it's more populated with residential type of uh, apartments and, and houses and villas. And, uh, yeah, so it's fairly uh, um, populous in this part uh, of Dubai. But it, as I say to you, it did appear to me from where I was standing that the pilot had some form of control over the aircraft. You know, we were getting reports initially, and, and before I even get to that point, I, I just want to update our viewers that we are now getting confirmation that this cargo plane belonged to UPS, uh, the, the, the postal service, so to speak. We're getting word that it is their cargo plane that did crash. Uh, but Dominic, if I could get back to you, uh, did you see, and because we got these conflicting reports that it may have crashed on the highway, uh, that there were cars involved, uh, any sense about, you know, the, when it crashed, fatalities, is there anything you could deduce from that? Of course, it would be fatalities because when the aircraft impacted the ground, which I saw, um, there was a, the sky lit up and there was an almighty uh, ball of flame. And, and as I say to you, the sky lit up at the 4th of July. Almost. But uh, uh, as opposed to, as, as to where the aircraft crashed, no, I would say uh, there's an area called the Global Village. It's around there, around the Global Village areas where uh, I would imagine the aircraft crashed. And just beyond the Global Village is another residential area called Arabian Ranches. I would say it's probably uh, the Dubai side of the Arabian Ranches, which is the northern side of the Arabian uh, Ranches, is, is where I would uh, hazard uh, the, the accident took place, where the impact took place. And any sense as to the, the response from uh, emergency services? Anything you can tell us? Uh, can you see it? Are you seeing anything on TV about all of this? Well, uh, I, was, uh, well I got together with a colleague of mine and we drove out. And as it happened, literally within seconds, we were, we were sort of in, went out to, to have a look what happened. That's the one thing that impressed me and almost comforted me um, to the point of how incredible, incredibly quick the response, the emergency response was. And from all sides, I could see that there were response vehicles coming in from Alain and uh, obviously from, from the Dubai airport and all the rest of it. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, the response was very quick, very quick and, uh, and quite numerous. All right, uh, Dominic Fanucci joining us there uh, on the line uh, from Dubai. Dominic witnessed the crash of that UPS uh, cargo plane that crashed. Uh, uh, UPS standing, of course, for United Parcel Service. It's a private company based here in Atlanta. Dominic, I want to thank you for joining us.